Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to disable dynamic setting extension and other extension in Google Ads. As you probably know, Google makes it little bit hard to find the option to disable this extension. But don't worry, I'm going to walk you through it step by step. In order to disable them, you need to go to the asset. Then click on the more. Then go to the account level automated asset. Once you're there, then click on the more again and then go to the advanced setting. So once you are in here, you can turn off the dynamic extension, uh, site link extension and other extension. Just uh, click on the drop down and just turn it off. Okay. Select a reason why you wanted to opt the dynamic site link extension and then hit save. So there is other extension that automated dynamic callouts and other dynamic structure snippets so it is your preference whether you can turn it on or off based off of your situation so whether or not it's a good or bad to enable dynamic settling extension depends on your specific situation for example if you use a landing page and don't want to send traffic to other pages on your website then turning off dynamic settling is crucial because it can hinder you overall conversion rate okay so that's all for today and uh, i hope you learned how to disable dynamic cycling extension and other extension in google ads if you have any question please feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe my channel for more helpful google ads tutorial thanks for watching